Hello, today is July 21st, 2018. My last call said that we had held support here and that unless we gapped under this low, higher prices should print on Friday. Well, futures traded under this price for most of Thursday night, but the low held and we did see higher prices. Of course, had I said we would see lower prices or close a little change, I would have been right too. So you, one of those things you couldn't really miss, but I'll, I will say that um, this held and the next move was to have higher prices. During the day, REJT identified this drop as false, meaning it would retrace, said these rallies would retrace. Here it gave a sell signal on that work. Now I have to tell you, a sell signal in MEJT just means there's a lower target. The lower target printed immediately here. We didn't really have to go any lower than this. So if you were negative for other reasons, this gave you confirmation. But MEJT is an addition to and not a substitute for other systems. And again, a sell just means you have a lower target. It doesn't I mean we have to go as low as we did. Anyway, nothing new from the system for Monday. Usually a trend on Friday carries through into Monday's open. If not, you'll gap up, but this is a pretty negative, negative pattern here. And the majority of the time, I would expect this to carry through into Monday's open. And that could have ominous consequences if it happens. Now, Monday's patterns, the one with the early low and the late high, tends to rally throughout the day. But that doesn't mean you won't drop first. And if I'm reading this correctly, you'll see a big drop in the first one to two hours of trading. And if not, any breakthrough here is going to be delayed. But after holding support, we had a rally which couldn't take out any of these highs and actually closed under the intervening low, and that's not good. It has to be confirmed by trading under the close by at least a tick. One cent. Um, here's your 15-minute chart. Here's your support. The more times... This support gets gets some um, tested, the more likely it is to break. Here's our wave count. Here's the all-time high. Here's your one. Here's your A, B. We're making C. This is about seven points shy of our target, and that probably is close enough. Here was your 2801.90 high. That's the blue line. We broke through the high. Here's the breakout a bar. And then we traded under the breakout bar. And that gives a trader a VIC to be sell signal. Now, when you break through by a small amount, you don't have to drop by very much. But when you break through by a significant amount like this, and then you trade under the breakout bars low, that's a major sell signal. Now it hasn't happened yet, but we do have a bar completely over the old high, and then we have a close, which is under the old high. And the principle is the same. After clearing the old high completely, we then close under it. It's a rejection of the breakout. And all you need for confirmation, first, if it's going to drop on Monday, you really want to trade under this low. What you really want to do is to trade under the low of the bar, which is the which is the breakout of the bar, and that low is um, let's see, 27.89.24. And if I'm reading this right, this completes A B C D E, and we should have a drop, and that could be the end of the A B C here. The significant drop coming 
all we have to do is trade down at the open and go under this low. Uh, we're not going to be picky about this, but um, if it doesn't happen exactly that way, we're still in a very vulnerable position here with a very high likelihood that a breakdown now is going to be the end of this whole leg up. And I think the odds for the breakdown coming are quite high. Not a, it isn't a total lock until you go under this low. But I think the odds are overwhelming. That's the end of this move. And uh, we'll see if we drop right from the open on Monday. If we do, it could, the drop could start right at that point. If we don't, it might be delayed. If we gap up and take out some of these highs, which is your stop, you, this, these highs, then we have to reassess the situation. But if we don't gap up, I don't think that's very likely. That's today's call.